page 62 Liza Jane on page 62 they're introducing the G major and D7 chords for the left hand we've had them for the right hand frankly I tried to you got to do it in both hands so if they introduce it in one hand or the other just do it in the other hand too is what I'm suggesting and they show the the notes for them the way they're used in this book uh, the arrangements there's other arrangements for chords uh, I won't go into it right now we'll get into it later but just know that the chords they're showing you are the G chord and the D7 chord so just be able to play these chords they're two of the primary chords for G major as we add a few more pieces of information a few more pieces to the puzzle all this is going to start coming together and making sense okay for now just know that those chords the G chord and the G and the D7 chord are very important in piano playing okay just take my word for it for now all the whys and wherefores will come in later in Liza Jane it's just two lines line a little short thing melody is in both hands one or the other the first two measures it's in the left hand then the next two measures it's in the right hand it's like one hand says something and the other hand answers it and this is common in music where you have a statement and an answer it might not be between the hands but there will be a statement and an answer you'll notice this a lot and that's really all that's going on here bring out the melody then so for the last two measures in the right hand or or in the second line we want to hear the right hand not the chords so keep the chords soft we want to hear the right hand now there is a repeat silence so we're going to repeat it I still don't like what they're doing with the dynamics but they're doing it so okay at the beginning you'll see the MF is underneath the bottom staff telling you for, for the bottom staff it's going to be an MF and it actually is going to be an MF or softer for the whole piece now they give you another MF in the second line that's nice of them uh, but I would really prefer they put the MF in the middle between the staffs and just here this is how loud the piece is and not try and assign a dynamic to a particular staff uh, 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 it's just unnecessary uh, in the third measure over you get an F between the staffs but it's not exactly between them it's a little higher up it's it's they're trying to attach it to the top staff and, and a, a dynamic applies to the melody so just give us one dynamic and we'll take care of it from there okay so for the first two measures the dynamic is MF that's the melody and in the second two or the last two measures of the first line the dynamic is F that's the melody so the left hand has to be softer than that and you'll have to adjust it I don't know how softer you have to adjust it to make sure you can hear the melody that's what's important same thing for the second line 4-4 four, four time they are showing another abbreviation or symbol or whatever you want to see just above the top staff there at the beginning you see an NC that stands for no chord meaning if you have a guitar player or something that's going to play tell them to take a rest for a bit don't do anything while you're doing this okay you won't see no chord very often usually they just don't put anything there and it's understood you don't do anything then when you get over to the last two measures of each line they have the little boxes and they want you to put in the name of the chord and then if you're a guitar player or whatever you can play along at that point it's up to you whether you fill in the boxes or not they, they have the boxes in the line up above but in the very top of the page they're showing you what the chords are so let's go ahead and try this Liza Jane out. I'll give us four counts and we'll play it together. Now ah, your hands are in G position in case you didn't know. All right. One, two, ready, go.